Nicole Scott here from Mobile Geeks. We are taking a break from the live stream to check out some stuff on the show floor. I'm joined by Philip Politis from Marvell, who's going to show me some of the new announcements they have here at Mobile World Congress 2015. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Thanks for coming. Absolutely. So tell me everything that's new. I'm so curious. Great. We've got some pretty exciting announcements this week. Uh, first of all, I do want to show a few things here. We've got our 1928 uh, quad-core 64-bit uh, LTE platform that's in the Google Aura phone uh, as a module. And uh, there's the phone here. So tell me about Project Aura. This is a really interesting concept from Google. It's a modular smartphone. Yeah, so the, the concept here is where a user can actually interchange modules based on their needs. They want a better camera, they want more battery uh, capacity or, or different display, uh, different performance on wireless, for example, Wi-Fi, they can interchange the modules. And uh, it's a great concept and it's gonna be uh, uh, hitting the market soon. Yeah, absolutely. Whenever I change a geography and I don't have LTE, I'm like, oh, I just wish I could have this region's LTE, like when I go to China. It's like Stuff like that would be kind of neat. Yeah, yeah. So it's going to ship with a lot of modules. We're putting uh, our solution right now is in the, uh, is in the, uh, the application processor and LTE, uh, the 1928 64-bit. Uh, and we're also designing modules with uh, partners for our uh, connectivity solutions. Awesome. So when you think about this, th this device, how long do you think the, the life cycle will be? Do you think, like, they say it's maybe forever, but do you think you'd really keep the phone forever? <laughs> a user could. Just interchange display size or you know, display uh, quality and, and uh, other modules as new technologies emerge. So yes, it could be a lifetime phone. It could be a lifetime. The last smartphone you ever buy. Possibly. So, <laughs> no, uh, not really, though. Yeah. It's like everyone loves changing devices and kind of <laughs> customizing stuff up. But it's true. Like if you take a look at the, at like the way the case is designed, like you have the, the you have the ability to kind of like put custom photos on it, which I hadn't noticed before, and just kind of like change the speaker out and everything like that. Yeah, yeah. The, the, these are fully customizable. So it, it, what's showing here is, uh, I guess, a customized module with a photo imprinted on it. Yeah. Awesome. So, different designs. so what else? What else are you talking about here at uh, uh, We also WC? announced uh, a great design win with a, a great partner of ours, Samsung, for a, a global model. Here, this is the Samsung J1, uh, and this is based on our uh, 1908 uh, quad-core 64-bit platform, uh, and uh, it's already launched in a few countries, and uh, it's it's a global model that we're very proud of. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to show us everything that's new. I've always been very curious to see Project Ara, and uh, yeah, I mean, just the, the idea of like popping out a, a camera to put in a new camera, or popping out the processor to kind of upgrade the following year. Flexible. Flexible. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, we're going to head back to the live stream now. Sasha, enjoy.